You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. On Wednesday, October 25th, Betsy Lane High School's art students completed their Paint the Plow project for Kentucky Transportation Cabinet District 12. The students came up with the idea and each contributed to a different part of the artwork. Now that the plow is being returned, Betsy Lane High School art teacher Cheyenne Smith comments on her students' talent. I'm super proud of my kids. They did an awesome job with this. This was kind of a daunting project for them because it was such a big project and they wanted to do really well on it and I think they executed it beautifully. And my kids are going to be great artists, as you can probably see, and I'm super, super proud of them. They're going to do great things. These kids that I had working on this, they're super, super talented in different aspects. Like I had one student that was really good at, she paints cats in her free time. One of my students was really good at blending colors together. One of them was really good at line art. And they all kind of had to work together and learn from each other so they could apply that back into like classroom setting and to their other projects. The project encouraged teamwork and cooperation while using a non-conventional canvas. Because of this, some students say it challenged them in a good way. Well, we spent a couple weeks working on it and at first it was a little slow, you know, because we were getting the background and stuff, but overall it was a good challenge for us and we worked together and we got closer as friends and we also got out of class a lot of times and we liked that, but we also spent so much time together working on it, we got a lot closer as friends, even with our teacher, Miss Smith. I'm not very versed in painting. I usually do like charcoal and stuff. So this was something new for me and it challenged me in a good way. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.